Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stop D here. So, there was a whole lot of hype last night as uh, EA launched their new game, um, only in Canada for now, um, but uh, it's the NBA um, live mobile version, and been playing it since yesterday, and this game is awesome. I'm really, really enjoying it. So this is going to be my full game overview, and I guess a little bit of a review in there as well. So let me know what you think. Hit that like button below if you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, but basically, um, we're going to go through everything that's in this game. If you've been playing Madden Mobile, there are a lot of similarities. It's a, it's a very, you know, they've taken all of the things that made Madden Mobile great and they put into this game um, and then added some kind of unique things, um, you know, to give it its own sort of unique feel as well. So really pumped about this. The only two downsides, I would say, and I'll put them right here off the bat um, just to get them out of the way. The first one is their uh, packs, their hoops packs, which I guess like the pro pack goes for 1500 coins, um, where it was 7,500 coins in Madden Mobile. Um, but it's probably something that in the end is going to equal it anyways, because you know, if, if those are more, then the then the auction house items are going to go for more and so on and so on and so on. So it probably won't be a really big deal in the end. And the other one is that, well, it seems to only be available in Canada right now, which also probably not a, you know, not a big deal because in the long run, it's going to be available everywhere as well. So right now, you know, kind of, you know, little downers on that one, but in the end, um, it's, you know, it's, it's going to, it's going to work itself out, I'm sure. So here we go. Um, looking at the, the main screen, the live event screen, we have, yeah, our settings menu. Don't really care about that, but we got accomplishments. Oh, that's my inbox. We got accomplishments, achievements still um, that you can pick up. So they have it for general, head-to-head, -head, live events, um, season mode, um, and sets as well. So you get a whole bunch of different things for getting those trophy packs, um, you know, coins, slam dunk packs. Um, I don't actually know what a slam dunk pack is, but uh, that sounds cool. Uh, um, so there you go. That's uh, that's basically what they have with there. And then they have the different live events. Um, so they have a couple on right now. The one is throwback. Um, and you can pull a throwback player um, when you do this. So we're going to play this one right now, um, show you a little bit of a indicator of what the live events are like and I really actually I'm I'm a huge this might be one of my favorite things um so far in this game is these live events um so here you go in the first one um as I waste a whole bunch of time um we basically have to score from all of these different circles go pick up the ball after and we get um a flashback smith as our player actually not <laughs> flashback <laughs> a throwback smith as our uh, as our player still used to using the uh, the Madden mobile lingo as we go here. So, oh, and I'm, oh, I messed that one up. All right, I'm probably going to lose this one. Oh, but look at that. Look at that three that we threw. So six seconds into the circle. And there we go. Nothing but net on the last one as we pull our flashback player. So we'll open this pack up, um, show you what the pack looks like. So there you go, first pack, NBA Live Mobile, and we do pull not a flashback player, but we co we pull Damian James as our uh, as our first player there. So you know you can still get bronze players. Um, last time I did, I think I got like a 500 quick sell or something like that. So um, works very similar to that as well. Then there's also the daily grind. This is basically the exact same thing um, as the. Uh, as the the daily warm up in Madden Mobile, um, and then we can do the drills. Drills give us um, packs as well. Um, so we'll check out this live event here. So we drive, and then we have to dunk it. Um, so to dunk it, basically, um, you hold down the drive button, and then you just swipe it up to shoot. It's it's pretty easy to do when there's uh, no one there. Um, it's a little bit harder to do um, in game. Um, I've still had some difficulty doing it in game, but I'm sure once I get used to the game, it'll get a lot easier. So we'll open up our uh, our drill event pack here, and we pull another uh, bronze player, and then we'll go check out the other things we got. So there's also head to head mode. Um, you can see we got live events, head to head mode, season mode, um, your team, the store, the sets, the auction house, and sell them. So again, very similar to the what you see in uh, Madden Mobile. Stamina based as well. Um, so if we go in here um, to head-to-head, -head, we'll go play one of these teams here. So head-to-head -head actually works a little bit differently. Um, it's kind of cool, kind of unique how it's set up. Basically you play quarters. So I'm going to play the first quarter um, and then whatever I get in the first quarter, um, that's going to be the score in the game. And then you can set up your defense um, to you, you know, for a different defense as I let them score. You can set up your defense um, as like basically your counterplay um, as you go in there. And then so the opponent here is going to play um, quarter two. 
That's a draw. Okay, I'm, I gotta focus on this for a second. I'm not paying attention at all. But uh, your opponent plays quarter two, um, and then uh, and then you play quarter three, um, and then they play quarter four. So it's kind of a, a unique way to to play it there. Um, kind of cool. I like what they've done with that. As we go for a way too long three. So when you're playing in the live event season mode, um, you can hit the guard button, hold down the guard button, and it allows you to you know guard the players, um, and it just basically auto guards for you, and then you can hit the block button. I'm gonna actually be annihilated in this attack match, by the way. All right, let's go for another three. Oh, maybe not. All right, we'll go for the shot, and we miss. I'm just this is like my worst. Worst head-to-head -head <laughs> match I have played yet. Oh, but we get the steal. Go back. Oh, I don't think I'm even going to get... No, nothing there. So we'll check out the players after. They all have different stats, um, and there's different ways of setting up your lineup as well. So they don't seem to have boosts in the same way they had it in Madden Mobile. Um, it looks a little bit different in this game. There we go. We finally get our first points. So we're probably not doing going to do too well in this uh, first quarter, um, but I'm not quite good enough at this game yet to, to talk and um, explain the game while playing it as well. Oh, got blocked. I think since yesterday, I feel like they've gotten better. Or maybe it's because I was playing season mode, that's probably why. Now that I'm playing against... I didn't even check like how good this team was. Ah, missed the block there. And then they do this too. So every once in a while they have slow motion. Um, they'll play in slow motion and you can... Uh, yeah, basically. Well, that's about it. You play in slow motion. And they go for their buzzer beater. And they miss it. Alright, so we just got destroyed in that first quarter. Um, but, gives you an idea of what you do in head-to-head. Um, so there's the head-to-head -head matchup. There's what you can expect in head-to-head. -head. Um, and then we'll head on over to the next one. So season mode. Um, season mode, basically, same idea, except you play the whole game. So you're going to play the whole game um, against players. I put up a season mode game in one of my previous videos, so you can go check that out. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, I enjoy playing the, the season mode. You actually make rewards like for each quarter as you go along, which is kind of cool. Um, you can scout the other team, check out what the other team is. Um, it gives you the handicap um, of the team as well when you're doing this. Um, so there you go. Next one. Um, next mode we have, um, so the My Team. This is where you check out your team. Now on this team, there's different ways you can set it up. Oh, this is probably partially why we didn't do so well. I forgot to change my team back to the Balanced. Um, so you can set different lineups. Um, so we have Balanced. You have to unlock them basically. Right now I have Balanced, Small Ball, and Defensive um, unlocked. And so you can set them as your current lineup. That's the one you're going to use. Um, so make sure, unlike what I did, you actually set it back to the one you want to use when you're playing your head-to-head -head in all of those different modes. Um, but basically, so if we're in small ball, you need three players that have the small ball ability um, unlocked, and then you can put them in the team. So if you see, like, I can't put any player that's not there. It's not going to let me um, put them into that position. Um, but you can, you can also, what's interesting is you can put out of position players. So if I put in, um, you know, if I put in the the shooting guard into the uh, point guard position. I'm allowed to do that. Um, it just makes him an out of position player. So you can kind of play around um, with that, which is kind of interesting, a kind of unique feature to this game as well that uh, that I like. So I think there's there's a lot more custom custom about customizability. I guess that's how you'd say it. Customizability, we'll call it that anyways, um, to this game, um, which is really cool. And you can set best lineups for each, so I can pick my best lineup for this one um, and then set that to my you know, my, my main one. And then you got your collectibles, you got your packs. Um, a lot of pack opening videos already up on my channel. Go check those out um, as well. I'm going to do a couple more here shortly at, um, in addition. And then we got the store. Um, store, so you can open the players packs. You can open the... Um, bundles, all of those kind of things, set up the same way as it was in uh, in Madden Mobile. Um, coins, or you can use Madden Cash to buy it as well. Um, and then if we go to the uh, sets, so the sets, um, basically, um, again, another very similar to how it was in Madden Mobile, um, but you can, uh, you can do the daily grind, you get the tutorial set, um, and then you can get award winners, so you can pick up Steph Curry, um, here, the first one, you just got to get all these different trophies. Um, and if you look, 
it does look like so they're different trophies it's trophies that uh, it's not all the same trophies um but there are ones that uh, that overlap so it's, you know that's part of that one um kind of like road to the ring i would say um and then uh, we have our supremacy um the interesting thing about supremacy actually and i don't know if this is going to change or not but you can actually buy and sell these um these ones in the auction house um so you can actually you need to unlock this for the LeBron James 93 Supremacy, um, and you can sell them, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if that's going to stay around, but it's kind of a, a neat little uh, feature that they have in there because, as you know, if you played Madden Mobile, the, the grind for Domination Gronk was insane. So, um, yeah, there you go. Anyways, on to there you got the teams, so we can upgrade the teams, um, put in uh, five bronze players, five silver players, and a gold trophy to get yourself a gold player and 2,500 coins. Um, they have all the different teams there. Um, and then we got impact players. So you can get an impact player for each of the teams. Um, and all you need to get that, um, I'll, actually, I'll show you the one. We got one here for Derek Rose. Um, you need his uh, collectible. You need 15 elite trophies and 15 gold trophy, or 15 gold players from the Bulls. So pretty actually, it's going to take quite a bit actually, I think, to get some of these impact players. Um, but uh, especially with the pro pack things, uh, that they have the hoops packs going for 1,500 coins. Um, but and then we got the legends at the bottom. Um, you know, you've got to pick up their featured year, um, and then some of their, you know, stats, um, their team, elite trophies, all of those things. Um, and then when you pick those up, you can get the sets there. Um, upgrades, um, again, they still got quick sells, they still got large quick sells. I still pulled 1,000 in my large quick sell, but I did pull a 25,000, so I made up for it in that one. Um, then bronze trophy exchange, gold trophy exchange, silver, all those different trophy exchanges, and then the player, um, the trade-in packs to get your, uh, you know, put in all your gold players, get 10 trophies and all of those things as well. So sets, you know, interesting to see what comes um, with that. There is no league mode right now, but I'm sure that's something that hopefully will be put into the game in the future um, as we move to the auction house. So the auction house, right now, there's not a whole lot going on in it. Um, there's you know a couple there's an elite player actually I think that's my no that's not my elite player someone else put in the elite player that I put in but for a lot more than I put him in for um, you know you got all your players you can bid on them auction them um, search them you can still you know um, select the teams you want to search by positions you want to search by um, type those kind of things I, I don't know if you can uh, don't know it doesn't look like you can search for like specific um, you know types of players like small ball or something like that but you know if you know who the players are you can search for them that way as well um, and then you have your own auctions um, and then your bids and then you can sell players obviously just like you could in that in mobile putting them up still taking that 10% auction house fee um, when you do that though and then uh, so that's it so that's all the different features we got for Madden Mobile um, <laughs> Madden Mobile there you go <laughs> This is how much I've been playing the Madden. This is all the features you got for NBA Live Mobile, um, the new game here from uh, from EA, and it is it is a really fun game to play. I really enjoy playing it. Um, I'm, you know, I can't I can't really get enough of it right now. Um, it it works pretty much flawlessly right now. Um, the the live events are fun. The only thing is, is there's not a whole lot going on in it um, because it is still you know early on in it. But yeah. There you have it. So thanks for checking this out. Um, hopefully you have an idea of what all the different features and everything in this game. Oh, look at that three. Um, all the different features you can get in this game and, and how to play it and those kind of things. Um, so thanks for checking this out. Thanks for stopping by. Um, we're going to do some pack openings here, but anything else you want to see about this game, let me know. We'll put it up here on the channel. So it's been a pleasure. Stop D out.